So today we are going over the sweatiest skin of each rarity in Fortnite and there are 15 rarities in total and as you all know there are a lot of sweaty skins in the game so let's get straight into it. So for the first rarity which is common, there aren't really many common skins, it's only defaults. So I'd say the sweatiest one is probably the Ramirez skin but as I mentioned there aren't really that many to choose from and not that many of them are sweaty so we'll just get straight into the next rarity. So the next one is Uncommon which is Green Rarity and I think it's safe to say that the Aura skin is definitely the sweatiest skin of that rarity. Whenever you jump into an arena game you always see an Aura skin and they always have an insane amount of arena points so it is definitely overall one of the sweatiest skins in the game. Maybe not as much anymore but definitely back in the early stages of chapter 2 and when it did first release it was at one point one of the sweatiest skins in the game overall but in terms of Uncommon rarity I'd still say that the aura is the sweatiest. Now in terms of a rare rarity which is blue I'm gonna go with the siren skin I think that is definitely again not as much anymore but it was at one point one of the sweatiest skins in the game. A lot of streamers like Benji Fisher used to use it and I think he does still use it quite a lot. It was his skin for his locker bundle so it is definitely one of the sweatiest skins as I mentioned you always see so many sweats use this skin and it's got to be the sweatiest of that rarity. Now moving on to the epic rarity we've gone with the Kuno skin. It was quite a difficult one to choose because there aren't really that many sweaty skins in terms of epic rarity but I definitely say the Kuno skin is a sweaty skin. I know Unknown Army a very good controller player definitely is known and it is his claimed skin so I think that is also a reason as to why it is quite sweaty but it was a difficult one to choose with this rarity. Now in terms of legendary rarity for me it was between the Midas skin or the superhero skins and I've actually gone for the superhero skins because again at one point these were one of the sweatiest skins in the game full stop. Definitely during the early stages of chapter 1 the sweatiest legendary rarity skin was for sure the reaper skin or the John Wick skin but nowadays nobody uses that skin anymore and it's got to be the superhero skins like the fact that you can have them all white or all black is kind of pay to win even though they did kind of nerf that and not make it as overpowered but it is definitely still a very sweaty skin and one of the most traditional sweat skins in the game. Now moving on to the more advanced rarities, so we've actually got a dark series for the next one and I've gone for the dark bomber, I think this is definitely one of the sweatiest skins overall during chapter 1, not as much anymore, you don't really see that many sweats use it but when like creative first released and a lot of people were using this, especially Faze Sway, it is his signature skin and he's known for this so he's definitely made it a lot more sweaty, you could go for maybe the dark wild card or the dark red knight but for me from the dark series I'm gonna go for the dark bomber. Now the next one is lava series and I'm definitely gonna go with the blaze, it's definitely not as sweaty anymore but at one point it was one of the sweatiest skins maybe during chapter 2 season 3 when it did first release mainly because it is just very similar to the renegade raider and it is a very simple clean skin and those are the sweaty skins that people like to use just the simple and basic ones and as I mentioned there aren't really that many to choose from lava rarity but it is definitely sweatier than all the other lava rarity skins so I've gone for that one. Now next up we've got the Frozen series and it was a close one between the Frozen Knight but I've actually gone for the Frozen Nogop skin. I think the Nogop skin overall again at one point was a very sweaty skin but in terms of the Frozen Nogops I wouldn't really say it is that sweaty but neither is the Frozen Knight so it is quite difficult to choose with some of these rarities but I definitely say the Nogops is known for being sweaty. Now Shadow series, I've definitely gone for the Shadow Scully skin, you could have gone for the Shadow Ruby skin which is a close one but I wouldn't really consider that one as sweaty as the actual Ruby skin itself and some of the other skins in this series they're not sweaty at all so I'm going to say the Scully because I've seen a lot of sweat use it and as I mentioned not as much anymore but definitely a couple seasons ago it was kind of a sweaty skin. Now Slurp series, I've gone for the Slurp and Tyne skin if that's how you pronounce it and this is kind of a weird series because there aren't really that many skins in this rarity. You've got the Big Chuggers, you've got the Ripley, the Slurp Jonesy, the Bandolette and the skin on screen and I wouldn't really say any of these skins are sweaty at all 
but the one that looks the most sweaty is the Slurpentine skin on screen, but there aren't really that many sweaty skins in this rarity full stop, so it's a bit of a difficult one to choose, but I'll just go with that one. Now, the gaming series rarity, i definitely go with the Psycho Bandit. This was Mongrel's claimed skin when it did first release, and Mongrel is definitely known for using this. He doesn't really use it much anymore, but it definitely made it a very sweaty skin at some point. And you could have maybe gone for Chun-Li or Lara Croft, but I'd definitely say Psycho Bandit it is the sweatiest one of this rarity, but if Mongrel never used this skin, then it probably would have never become a sweaty skin, so it's kind of crazy. Now, Star Wars rarity, I've gone for the Zori Bliss skin because I'd say it is definitely sweatier than any of the other skins from this rarity. I know some of the other skins in this rarity include Mandalorian, Stormtrooper, Rey, Finn, Kylo Ren, but none of those are really sweaty and neither is Zori Bliss really, but it definitely is the sweatiest looking skin from that rarity, so I'll just go with this one, but again, it was quite a difficult one to choose. Now Marvel, this is in my opinion one of the best rarities, it's got some really good skins but it doesn't really have that many sweaty skins, I know it's got Black Widow which you could have gone with but I've definitely gone for the Jennifer Walters skin, it just looks so sweaty, like it's such a basic simple skin and it just looks like the traditional sweat skin that you'd see people use in arena and creative just grinding out wins and just going crazy with this skin cranking 90s and it is in the battle pass so a lot of people do own it and as I mentioned Black Widow's close but I've gone for Jennifer Walters. Now DC Rarity, there's so many good skins you could go for, I, mean, I know Harley Quinn is definitely a sweaty skin but I've actually gone for the Catwoman skin because I'd say it's a little bit more sweatier than the Harley Quinn skin. You see a lot more sweats use the Catwoman but it is close between those two and there aren't really that many other sweaty skins in terms of DC Rarity so I'll just go with Catwoman but you could say Harley Quinn. Now onto the final rarity of the video we have got Icon Series and again with this one there aren't really that many sweaty skins so I've actually gone with Bugger because we all know Bugger is one of the sweatiest players in the game. I mean he won the World Cup so it's definitely safe to say he's pretty good at the game and I'd say his skin is kind of sweaty. It's a nice and basic simple skin but again with this one it was kind of difficult to choose because there aren't really that many sweaty skins in this rarity but I've gone for that one. Anyway, those are all the rarities. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favourite sweat skin in the entire game. And there's a load more videos on screen here. Make sure to click another one to keep on watching. And I'll see you over there.